Hey there, good evening, good evening. This is Griffin Gaming RPG, and uh, welcome back to the channel. I've uh, been away for a little while. Good old real life has been keeping me pretty busy, uh, but I've missed uh, the opportunity to stream, and it's a Friday night, and I wanted to make some time to drop in and uh, spend a little time out here on Twitch. Um, again, it's been a little while since I've been out here, and I decided to actually kind of do a bit of a throwback this week uh, with my Star Citizen 101. Uh, if you've been here before, uh, welcome back, and if you haven't, uh, glad to have you here tonight with me. Um, basically, when I do Star Citizen 101, it's basically an open time for people who may be interested in Star Citizen. If they want to ask questions about anything about the game, or if they're just curious about what it is I'm showing uh, while I'm uh, streaming, they can ask questions about that, or they can just kick back and relax and and uh, enjoy. Uh, I'm not sure if you're someone who's already into Star Citizen. If you are, then some of this may be information you already know. Probably 99% of it will be. But if you aren't new, if you are new to Star Citizen, uh, hopefully this will be something that'll get you pretty excited. <coughs> excuse me about the upcoming game. Um, Star Citizen is in an alpha stage right now. It's still in its early stages. Um, production began on it, uh, or fundraising began on it in 2012, and uh, it officially started kicking off in 2013. And uh, right now, we are um, a lot of us who have been keeping up with the game uh, have been taking in patches for the game, and right now they're on patch uh, 2.3.1. Uh, 2.4 is expected to come out hopefully within the next week. Uh, so anyway, I was saying that I decided to do this week as a throwback. Uh, the ship that you see right now is called the Aegis. I'm going to say Aegis because that's supposed to be the correct pronunciation. Uh, it's spelled A-E-G-I-S. The Aegis, uh, well, actually the one I have right here, is uh, there are three variants of it. Uh, this is the Avenger, uh, and the variant on it is called the, um, the Titan. Uh, there's a Titan there's a, a stalker and then there's an avenger um and so anyway uh i'm hopefully going to share a little bit of information with you about this ship uh what i really like about this ship is that it was the first ship that i actually uh invested in when i uh, decided to support star citizens campaign um there are some other ships that were more kind of starter ships and at the time i wasn't all that crazy about them they didn't look i guess the traditional way that i would think of of a, of a ship or a fighter and so I was not that thrilled about them, but this one seemed to catch my eye, uh, probably because of the aerodynamic look, um, and uh, I, it just really caught me. Um, and uh, the first one that I bought was actually the Stalker, which was the original variant, which was more of a prisoner transport ship. Um, this one that you see here, the Titan, is actually designed for cargo. Uh, externally, the ships look identical. If I'm not mistaken, they are in size and width and length, and, uh, but the internals are different on the three variants. Um, the, um, there's one that actually is designed for prisoner transport. There's another one that's designed for use for uh, using an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, uh, to disrupt other ships around it. And then this one, which is the Titan, which is designed for uh, basically carrying cargo. So, um, anyway, some specs on the ship. It's 19 meters in length. Uh, it holds a crew of one. Uh, there were some stories at one point that the ship was actually going to crew two. Um, but uh, it has been released as a, a one crew uh, crewman ship at this time. Uh, also, there was some stories about the fact that you'd be able to enter the ship uh, through the front, like a lot of fighter aircraft. Uh, usually, and I'm going to step up to the ship a little bit here, usually there's a way to get into a ship, the ship here, but currently that isn't the case currently the ship is entered in through the rear uh, ramp on the ship um, but there was some good news we a new video that came out today uh, showing entrance and exiting that's going to be coming up from the front of the ship so uh, a lot of the fans wanted that so it seems like uh, CIG is going to be making that happen for this ship uh, in particular so that'll be something coming up in the future one of the things that impressed me most about um, the ships that were in this particular game too was the amount of detail that was put into them. Um, I am actually running uh, on a very low-end graphics card right now. When I say low-end at the time, it was high-end, but compared to what's out now, it's, it's a moderate to low-end card. Um, my screen resolution is also set at low. Uh, Star Citizen has four levels. You can set it low, medium, high, and very high. And because I'm streaming, I keep it at low so that the frame rate doesn't get too crazy and it doesn't get too jerky, and the game will run pretty smoothly. So I'm sacrificing a bit of the detail. But what I do want to show you is the amount of detail. Uh, one of the things, as I said, that impressed me was the detail. Uh, and uh, as you look at the ship, 
um, you'll see that there's a lot of detail the closer we get to it. And in fact, the detail gets ridiculously clean the closer we get to it. So I'm going to step up a little bit and let's look at this cannon here in the front. And you can see that there are some markings on that round circle in the middle. You'll see there's a yellow tag. And in most games, when you see that, that's this is about the most clarity that you'll see. Just kind of a blur that gives you the impression that there are words uh, or some type of detail. But um, the guys at CIG, I don't know how they do it, but they do some incredible work when it comes to detail. So I'm going to move a bit closer. And you'll see that this detail actually gets to the point where you can actually read it. This gear is remotely controlled and may start without warning. <laughs> Hard to believe that that much detail uh, comes from here. Uh, but it, it is there and comes in very clearly. Again, same here. There's a keep clear marking uh, with two little triangles there that are very clearly detailed. In the front here, you can even see the screws and rivets uh, in the front of that particular gun. So again, you can see there's a tremendous amount of detail uh, that's put into these ships the closer we get to them. The rivets there, for example. The faded marking on the 23. And most games you would not see this level of detail when you got close. Things would actually begin to blur out, I guess you could say. Um, again, more detail. There are two missiles here in the back of the ship. And if we can get close enough, you can actually, let's see if I can get close enough, you can actually see the detail inside of the electronics in the front of the warhead. Which to me is... <laughs> Pretty elaborate, pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, let's let's uh, continue on with our tour. I'm gonna get past my little fascination with the detail of these ships. Um, again, uh, this is the Avenger Titan. It is designed for cargo, and uh, we're gonna do a bit of a walk around. We're actually in a different hangar this time. Uh, this is the Selfland hangar, and uh, I like it because it's a little bit more crude and more like a real hangar, industrial hangar. Um, I wasn't using this one very much. Normally I was using Revel in York and I was using Aeroview, but this one is really starting to grow on me even more, especially for smaller ships. Um, and so I really, really seem to like this one a lot. Again, there's a lot of detail here in the ship. Uh, the Avenger was actually originally designed as a military craft uh, in the Star Wars lore, and uh, eventually it was retired, and now it's available for civilian purchase and civilian use. And again, as I mentioned, uh, there are three variants on this ship. There's the prisoner transport variant, uh, there is the EMP variant, and then lastly what we have here, which will be the cargo variant. So um, the aircraft does have uh, three different aspects for weapons. It has fixed, uh, gimbal, and pylon. Okay, so let's go inside. Let's take a look at it. Okay, and so we've got the ramp here in the back, and as we go in, you can see that there's a, a pretty decent size in here. Uh, as I mentioned, the first version I had of this was the version that was the prisoner transport, and so on one side there was kind of a corridor, and on the other side, which would have been this side, there were prison cells, and if I'm not correct, if I think there were about maybe four of them, maybe five uh, prison cells in that variant, but this is the cargo variant, and uh, you can see that they have these magnetic placings here so that when cargo is placed inside the ship that's how it will be locked down basically there's cargo netting on each side which I think is probably more aesthetic than will probably be put to use but uh, the cargo going onto these squares that is a definite um, cargo um, pods will be the size to fit on these and you'll be able to place them inside I also understand now why they're putting in the entrance and exit from the front of the ship now because if you fill this back area up with those six squares obviously you can't walk to the door to get on the aircraft so uh, or the spacecraft I should say so again you can see there's a lot of detail here in the ship piping markings hazard markings even the detailing in the floor a lot of detail here okay all right we're going to move forward and let's go into the forward part of the ship again here's a panel here it says Aegis 39 AEG 39 if we get close to it again you can actually start reading this owned by Aegis Dynamics safety approval yada 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 a lot of detail there okay so let's go to the forward part of the ship here let's see if we can get this to activate if I can get in the right place and you can see there's an animation that brings you into this area of the ship and I'm going to do a little stooping down here hopefully if I can get it right there we go um, so we're not uh, right at the head of the ship this is a sleeping area on the ship 
and you can access it. Uh, the key to access things is uh, F, so we're going to hit that. And as you can see, we can actually climb inside. Uh, you may ask, what are sleeping areas for in the game? Well, sleeping areas are basically the way that you would save the game if you happen to be out in space and um, you need to quit, you need to stop. Well, instead of having to try and find a planet or a space station or a base or to land at, all you have to do is climb inside of there and basically the game will save and it will save exactly where you are. When you come back into the game, you log in, you'll basically be like waking up essentially and uh, you can continue with the game with where you are. And we're gonna go into the front area. Oh, you can see over here, there's a little bit of space here. This looks like it could be for storing something possibly. I really haven't heard anything that's gonna be designated for this area, but there is some space here, which we'll probably do something with later. Let's see if we can change our positioning here and activate this door. All right, and to get into the cockpit area, we're just gonna step forward. Once again, there's an animation, and we are in the cockpit. Uh, in the hangar area, uh, these uh, instrumentation does not activate. It only activates when we're in the universe right now. Uh, this is just to allow us to be able to see our ships and be able to walk around in them. Um, but there's nothing that really activates or works per se here. Uh, but you can see that there's a lot of instrumentation for uh, targeting, for radar, for systems, uh, for shields, for power management. Uh, all these things work. All these screens do work. And in, in many ships, they're customizable. You can put whatever you want at whatever screen you want. Uh, also, the animation will move in accordance to what you do with your mouse or your joystick uh, or your keyboard. Uh, one of the great things about this ship in particular is that the view is very much unobstructed, as you can see. Uh, the canopy here is all glass uh, from almost a 100 degree, 180 degree uh, view. Uh, from left to right, so you can see enemies pretty good in this ship. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and exit out of the seat and let's return to the back part of the ship. So again, there's our sleeping area. into our cargo area again. So you can see the ship is actually fairly small in size and one of the reasons why I uh, decided to purchase this ship is that uh, I'm really big into hauling cargo and freight and I wanted something that was moderate, had a moderate size but also had defense capability and even offense capability but I wanted something that definitely if uh, I wanted to transport something that is of value or that was pretty important uh, that I could put into a ship like this or if I'm doing a special run uh, I wanted to make sure I had something that I could defend myself with and uh, the Avenger ships are pretty well known for being able to defend themselves as I mentioned before uh, this was more of a military ship previously um, it's a very powerful forward gun here on the gimbal mount uh, and again missiles uh, and actually there's a third uh, area for fixed uh, ordinances as well so again this is the uh, Aegis um, Avenger Titan. Uh, this is the cargo variant of the Avenger series. Uh, definitely, if you're interested in knowing more about um, Star Citizen, uh, you can visit their website at robertsspaceindustries.com. Uh, actually, uh, also, you can um, just Google them. You know, uh, Right now, you can sign up uh, for the game, and you don't have to pay anything if you just want to sign up and be registered for it. If you'd like to sign up for it, uh, there's my referral code on the screen. You can use that, and you'll get 5,000 uh, what they call... Um, United Earth Credits, UEC, which are game game credits just for signing up. Uh, and definitely, if you enjoyed this, um, definitely come back and visit me again. Follow me if you're not following me. I'm trying to build up my followers. I'm fairly new to Twitch and still learning some things, but I definitely appreciate you spending a few minutes with me this evening on a Friday night. And uh, hey, thanks again for stopping by, and I hope you have a great weekend, and take care.